back at it again with the horrible meme. Oh crap, I think I said last video I was gonna like already have Diddy have his uh, guitar, his instrument thing, but I uh, don't worry about that, I guess. It's poor planning. Poor planning, but eh. we will make do. That fucking gnat is still in here. Also, Bailey is still snoring very loudly. Because I guess that's just what all the cool beagles are doing these days. For some tip, tip, tip I molest you because Diddy is almost certainly in her age. Don't. Don't laugh, woman. Don't even. Just don't go there. Candy's like the opposite of jailbait. It's like working in the opposite direction. Anyway, um. Well, let me go ahead and open this. Just because. Not fuck up on this line, because that would be dumb. Hello, llama that sounds like my aunt, kind of in a weird way. I know that, like, hey, it, it missed the Kremlin. That's weird. I know it sounds weird to say that a cartoon llama from a video game sounds like a relative of mine, but just take my word for it. Anyway, we're gonna go over here and get this shit. Cause it's red. And that is the best kind of shit. That's actually kind of disgusting to say. I apologize. Um, here, right? Yep. It's glad it's haunting me. I knew that was gonna happen. And we're gonna go in here and rescue the best Kong in the game. Kind of like how even in the shitty Powerpuff Girls remake, Buttercup is still the best Powerpuff Girl. Although it is unfortunate that that show really isn't that great and was apparently just like a cash grab for merchandise sales. Which is really not punk rock at all. But, eh, what are you gonna do? Also, for some reason on the virtual console version, again, probably due to the lack of lag, uh, this part is actually, like, kind of challenging. Or at least I find it. Because it's, like, not, maybe not this part, but the, like, bridge part after this part. Part, 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 part. Um, where is my Z button? It's like this goes away more quickly than you would think. And I'm going really fast. Oh my god. I think those are the other ones. Okay, I did it. Go me! Every time I, like, turn my head, I see the gnat flying around, and I'm gonna kick its ass. Also, it took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to figure out that that was, like, sunlight melting ice. But again, I'm gonna blame that partially on the fact that when I was playing this when I was a kid, my dad had done all this stuff before me. Can we- thank you. Camera get stuck on that? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. It usually does. Also, that starfish is really out of place. Fuck all y'all. The guitar's really loud. Can I get everybody? Yep. Stuttering coin noises. Coin noises. What is that? Assonance? It's funny because it has the word ass in it. Kind of like how I had a philosophy professor that was like writing. Um, I think it was like assassinate or something on the board and she was like, did I spell that right? I would just feel like I'm writing ass twice. Which is true, but... This was also coming from the person who described the Blackboard system online as running... It's like run by, like, retarded rats on cocaine just running in little hamster wheels or something. Like, apparently the people that run the site just don't know how it works either. Which is another one of those hilarious but really sad things. 
which seems to come up a lot in college. Hashtag emo. No, I don't know. I still think it's kind of weird to think that as a person I am in college. Even though I'm halfway done with it. Could be worse though. It could have been like this one person and had like... She's like, oh yeah, I made it into grad school. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. But I'm also like, that's like a lot more years of college. Are you fucking kidding? Um, okay. So, yeah, we have Tiny now. That's cool. And shut up, Squawks. And we're gonna go ahead and do those. We're gonna go ahead and get her saxophone. Or not. So we're gonna go get her saxophone. And then we're gonna leave. Jazz hands. Oh, I just noticed that really shiny trombone in the background, too. Just don't! Look, I'm not saying you can't be a lesbian, Candy, but like, holy shit. I don't know why I say it. It's like an impulse. But yeah, we're gonna. Oh, wait, I can't do this yet. I need to get her potion first. Derp. I don't think she has any coins in here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I fucked up. Sorry. Okay, so, um, here's where I wish I could, like, edit these videos. Here's red bananas I'm not getting right now, even though that makes me feel dumb. But I can get this splat, not a crusher. Okay, I'm gonna get more coins. That grenade is really damn loud. Bailey continues to snore loudly. I hope that won't be in like all of these videos, but it's becoming a trend so far. It is a trend so far. Words, words are hard. Anyway, yeah, I got that. And then I guess I'll go ahead and get the others, too. And then I'll leave and do the thing that I wanted to do. Calm smiles. And then her hair becomes longer in that cutscene, I think. Have a shitload of coins for some reason. Um, I didn't. I'm not the one that found this information, but um, in Victor Bonobus's stream of this game, um, they apparently like looked up how many coins for each Kong there were in the entire game, and the they were like in the hundreds, which is kind of ridiculous. I just- I guess they were just like- I guess Rare was just like throwing a bunch of coins around and they didn't really care to keep track of how many there were, but it's like, did you really need to have that many? What's even the point? I mean, I was gonna say that it's kind of like how you get so much extra money in like Pokemon games that you're never gonna use, but hypothetically you could use all of that and, um, you know, you obtain money in that game just- because of how you train Pokemon. But in this game, it's like, if you don't need the coins, you're never gonna get them, so who cares? But, eh, I don't know. Anyway, it's time to go on a tangent. And by tangent, I mean this is a tangent. Not like a conversational tangent. I consider most of what I say and think to be tangents, though, to be honest. Really peaceful music. Get it, you're running in the moment. More peaceful music. Well, it's not, it's not really peaceful. It's actually kind of the opposite of peaceful, to be honest. <laughs> I'll not be like Exit Tyler and say she's just another crying bitch, but she kind of just does sit here and cry the whole game. It's kind of stupid. Like, I understand she probably doesn't doesn't have any, like, 
cool powers and stuff to- but I mean, like, some of these fairies aren't even really hidden. They're just sort of shitting around. Like, say, this one. Bitch. Like, I mean, what's stopping the fairy queen from just, like, just leaving her house for five seconds and being like, Hey, bitch, get over here, and just collecting herself. Like, I don't get that. There is no music. It's creepy. Anyway. I really wish there was a way to go into, like, the menu and just, like, pick, oh, I'm gonna warp to this world or whatever. But alas, it's not a thing you can do. But now that we have the um, area of effect shockwave thingy, we can um, get a bunch more coins and not have to worry about collecting them for the other two columns we're gonna unlock. Which I believe I explained last time, but I'm gonna say it again. I know what it does! God damn! Why don't we fuck up this line? Jump. Fine, jump. Yup! I freaking knew it, because it happened the last time I did this. So now we gotta go the stupid way. Wow, this this is not going particularly well as an episode. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna enter again as tiny. Loud truck goes by. Oh no, it's not a truck, it's a motorcycle. I think it might be my neighbor. I don't know why he's out and about right now, because normally he goes on, I shit you not, 3 a.m. motorcycle adventures. I mean, it probably is just him going to work, but like, why are you riding a motorcycle at 3 in the morning? And he does it all the fucking time, and it's like, why? Why do you do this? Dennis, why? What a weird mood. Which is actually a good thing for these episodes, because it makes them more entertaining. In theory. I guess that's subject. Sub subjective. Can the camera please, like, stop being dumb? It, like, wasn't centering behind me. Right, that's done. Um, now, oh okay, yeah, I can get another one of these, though. Can we... Mm -hmm. Um, let's get these red bananas, I guess. Because that's thrilling. Actually, no way, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna get my Kasplat, not the Crusher. I have to remind myself of that every day. Are you kidding? Hi, friend! Please don't use your shockwave effect to knock me off, please. Thanks. Okay, now I'm gonna get the red bananas. Thrilling, I know. The thrills just never end. I don't want to take the time to go back on the uh, perilous path of hell to the nearest tag barrel. Um, warp pads. Let's see this shit over here. Not actually enter beetle race hell, but uh, prepare the world for it. Also collect like the majority of his bananas remaining in this level, probably. Well, no, I guess it's only like 15. But... Oh shit! That was gonna fall off the whole thing. But that's not what I meant to do. The music gets surly. I get surly. What are you looking at? Gong. Jeez, what are you? I mean, jeez. Sliced bread is really fucking loud. Okay, no. I, 
I shouldn't steal jokes from other LPs or LPers. Even though I don't know that anybody who's gonna watch these has actually seen Big, Dog on, Big Dip on a bus. But I mean, it's, he's basically the extent of the LPs that I still watch. Although I probably should look up more of them at some point. What am I doing? We ain't done yet. Gotta go up and get that banana. And then, I guess, the next episode I'll start by doing the beetle race, assuming I remember to do that. Remember one time my cousin was, like, playing this game on an emulator and he was, like, using hacks and shit to, like, skip all the shit in the game? And he said that apparently the game, like, wasn't allowing him to do the beetle race. Um, because, like, Tiny's music pad wasn't down there, and we were like, oh yeah, it's probably because you were hacking the hell out of the game, but that wasn't even true, because he didn't get the banana, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, I'll go get her gun. And then maybe call her day. Maybe. I don't know. Bailey continues to be unimpressed. I need to stop referring back to that, but it's really hard to ignore. I tried to make her stop earlier and it didn't work. You got the feather bow, it's cool because it doesn't fire fruit or food in of any kind. Type kinds tish t t words. Oh, I know what I'll do next. I'll do this uh, barrel course over here and then I'll call it a day. You get these bananas. Narrate everything I do again. Are there any bananas in this one? Because I really hope there aren't. There's that gnat again. God damn it. Had to be silently dramatic there. It wasn't really dramatic. And so, stupid, lazy asshole. Just had a banana up its ass, I guess. It just would, I don't know. Why wasn't it just in the cage to begin with? I don't know. Anyway, um, maybe I won't start with the beetle race next time. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Anyway, dramatic close-up of the llama's face. It's beautiful, truly, truly a beautiful, beautiful person.